Oh yeah, hey, how's it going everybody? It's yours truly, the Trick or Trey here. Today I'm playing some more of that Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. So uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Let's do this. Alrighty, as you can see from the last video, we have officially uh, entered the plant. Do, do, do. See if there's anything down here. Nope. Got your feet wet? These are the basic controls for swimming. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower, left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Okay. Let's get on out of here. Let's look around and see if there's any collectibles. Huh. Do -do. I can remember how to duck. There we go. Let's get that ration right there. Doo -doo -doo. I think there's something else somewhere else. No, no, no. We're going back. We're going back. Let's go to the other side. There's something over there. Check under here. No, right here, I believe. Do -do. That was just a complete waste of time. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Do forgive me, it's been a while since I played this. Like many years. Nothing in there. Got another ration. I think that's yes, yeah, two I found so far. Nothing in there. is unconscious. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Okay. Anything else up here? Don't look like it. Okay, let's head on in. So there's a little cutscene here. Man, man knocked out. Wait, that can't be who I think it is. He died in the tanker, remember? Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, 
You can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Okay. Let's do some quick uh, exploring before they wake up. Doesn't look as much in here. Let's see who's calling me. Okay, how you do this? Is it the Y button? Yes, it is. Keeps on sucking. <laughs> okay. Code name. See if this still works. Let's type in the creator's name. Hideo. I need a space button. Kojima. And enter. Yep, this is good. See what you want. Good work, Wrighton. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool the is exactly tag. the same one. It maps the Damn terrain it. as well as the position of enemy personnel. Maybe the bright guy in the middle is you, right? The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the Start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Like these two know each Jack, other. I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. Oh, if there's Moses. a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, 
You need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I should make a I'd like to make a request, too, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Uh oh, they waking up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. No, no, no! There we go. See what you want now. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide that. until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Yeah, the guy who played uh Rambo Superior in uh, Rambo movies, he would make a good uh, Colonel Campbell. I think he died a long time ago. Probably get Jensen Eccles to play uh Solid sneak. Well, let's focus back on the game. I gotta hide out here a little bit. Okay, there's the elevator. It's like I'm playing Shadow Moses all over again. I need at least one of them to disappear. Okay, one's leaving. That should be good. I just gotta see which way he's gonna face. I'm just gonna go for it. Go, 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 go. There we go. That's one thing I hated when uh, 2 first came out, is it was just like so similar to... Uh, the terrorists the call themselves beginning. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. No, he, can't be. he died two years ago on, on that tiger, tanker yeah. after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel. I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training What's after all. What's up with this VR training? Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What them? about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. Like, 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 and you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. Okay, about earlier, it looks like I didn't get the, uh, the dog tag by putting in Hideo Kojima's name. I guess I typed it in wrong, I don't know. But I'm not here to 100% the game. I'm just gonna play it the best I can. Get M9 for a shit. Do -do -do. I think there's a hole in the fence somewhere. Is it here? Yep, it is. Ryden, look at that wire fence. 
I kind of just figured that out. Camo can be annoying sometimes. Bro, what the f like like that? He can be annoying. Right. Seal Team Ten is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the seals? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission Dude, may be top well secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Okay. Shrut a phone room. Anything over here? Nope. Uh oh. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Okay, that broke up, so that's good. And of course, a node would be right there. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Hmm. Got it. Yeah, take a rain check on that. Let's see what's over here. Get the SOCOM first. Damn. There's really any shit in here. Okay. Maybe I can sneak past them just like that. Go to that node. Okay, everything looks good. Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. No, we're just gonna get the fuck out of this area. I was not trying to do that. We already off to a bad start. Oh, now we got these things. Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can the also chaff, destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. The conversation Roger sounded hella sus. <laughs> Alpha Zero, report. Yes, really Cover the president. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. I'll take a rain check on that. Let's get this. Got the chaff. Okay. Let's let that thing pass again. Okay, I was just finna bum rush it too.
Okay, I think I'm good. game a long time ago that's for like another part of the uh, the game I'm just looking for collectibles anything up here Yep. Okay, let's head back the other direction. I don't know if it's up top or down below. It's up top. It's going down below. Okay. Let's head to what was that, Strut B, he said? Okay. Let's get this guy right here. Uh oh. Freeze! <gasps> mm hmm. Not so tough now, bitch. Uh -oh. Drop his ass. Let's see if he's got anything. I'll take that. M9 bullets. Okay, let's hit this way. Calling the old Campbell again. Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will that. spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during Gotta a hanging maneuver, forwards. and once it runs out, you will fall. Okay. Or maybe I can just drop their ass. That's one? Where's the other one? Let's see if he's got anything. Nope. Wish I can throw him over. I'll take that ration. And... Uh, there we go. Let's see if he's got anything. And nine bullets. Can I throw him over? I don't remember if you can do that. Uh, I guess not. Anything here? Nope. Probably going to equip this. Okay. Oh, this looks so familiar. Remember the cyborg ninja? <laughs> Bitch is dead. Death everywhere.
kind of like my AR. Oh, no, shit. Oh, I don't know who that is. to be a member of the LGBT community. Hmm, slurping sounds. <gasps> See, I told you. Like right now, he's sucking another man dry. Sounds familiar. It's crazy how Vant did that and Ryden did not see it. Where is he? Not an enemy. Calm down.
My name is... is My what? name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Yeah, I don't think that can be who I think it is. It kind of looks like him and talks like him. He says his name is Pliskin, so we'll go with that. How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. I think Mr. Pliskin's lying. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A mm. virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Well, so you're saying that. that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. Hmm, he's dead. What the hell? A Navy captain. Hold me on that ship. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? Man, that blood-sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. Mm, they were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. I know. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. That Legends are usually idea. bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. Yeah, His Snake body was positively alive. ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. 
and buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military, they're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Yeah, just may. Take this, too. Oh, nice. I can use a pistol. I wonder if that vamp cutscene would have been different if I didn't get that M9. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? No point now, they did. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. SOCOM bullet, nice. To access this node. Third thing looks good. Okay. Let me search this area for some goodies. Okay, I see one up there. Oh, I remember this. Okay, I did see something over here. Let me get that. Dead nine bullets full. What's this? Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, good oh yeah. Idea. Thanks for the reminder. Let's go ahead and save this bad boy. Right here. Override, yes. There we go. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? Okay. Gonna crush them, I'm gonna uh, finish right. this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I think this is the... Yeah. Where that bomb is. Okay, let me, uh... 
go here. Okay, you obviously can't go in there. Okay. Socks might get lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, I remember this. This is fortune, I believe. Hey, I haven't hit my vape this whole time. I'm doing good cutting down on this. like uh, the wrestler Jay Cargill playing her. What the hell is that? Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Goes vamp again. Queen. I still think he gay. I don't want to get canceled. It's not wrong with it, but the dude's definitely fruity. Don't let them take the president. Ready grenades! Nope, nothing. A dud! I'll take one more puff. Today is another bad day. I remember using that gun in the Is there anyone school. here that can give me happiness? I'm gonna buy a PS2 just so I can win. There's no telling when the Master Collection Volume 2 is coming out. survived that. that doesn't seem that high up damn she didn't kill the seagulls I'm so sorry my beauties I'll see you again someday and there's another one that dropped <laughs> Ryden was only smart one. He knew he couldn't do shit, so he just stayed there. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The President can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. 
The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Right. You're needed on Strut C. Okay. Guess that's what we're hidden. Well, I'll take this. Some more chaff. Awesome. I think over there. Nope. There we go. And we're in the dining hall. Okay, that's one of them bombs again. I'll take that. Let's see what's over here. Nothing there. Check this. Camera. Do I have one? No, I do not. Okay, let's head on in here. Can't go that way. Uh oh. Freeze! Don't shoot. Yeah, don't shoot. He's on our black man. I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Put that down for the Did rest I of tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. Kind of weird name for a black dude. I'm lecturer at Navscolio, Indian head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. Give me Samuel Jackson vibes. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Looks that way. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. Mm, that's interesting. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Ryden. That's an odd name. So it says a black dude named Peter Stewart. There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. 
He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. It's a knowing ass Campbell problem. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. It is. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? Well, I wasn't informed crap. of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Why are we talking here, across a table? Look at this. It's kind of weird. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. Mm. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. He's I know how into his own aesthetics game. he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own, and he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. 
Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. So it's six bombs, okay. Take this. What's this? Security card issued to shell personnel. The big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. Huh, bummer. How did we'll have to deal his? with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Hmm. So Pluskin might not be who we, we think he is. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. This motherfucker is better. Okay. Let's do this. What's up, Jack? 
let's go ahead and save. All right, save. Jack, when you get home, let's have a homecoming party. Just the two of us. Sounds like yeah, a plan. That's a good idea. Mm, I'll make dinner. Uh, well, what's wrong? Well, that sounds good, but how about we eat out at that one restaurant instead? You know, the place that we went to recently with the amazing lobster. I really like that place. Lobster is good. Well, yeah, I, I guess that's okay, too. Whew. Huh? Uh, nothing. I, I just love lobster. Yeah, can't wait. Woohoo! Uh, well, then I'll make a reservation. Promise me you'll come back safely. Don't worry. Alrighty, this is the Trick or Treat here. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry there wasn't really too much action, but uh, we got plenty of boss fights coming up, so stick around for the next video. Uh, if you've been watching, please thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll be seeing you in the future some more Epic Gaming videos. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah.